And next thing you know, your son is playing for money in a pitchback suit and listening to somebody out of town, Jasper, hearing him tell about horse race gambling. My name is Steve Yudson. I'm living in Palm Springs right now. I was looking for a group that deals with Parkinson's in um, the Palm Springs area, and I found Songshine on the internet. And uh, I said, oh, this is interesting because uh, I've just done the Big and Loud program where I've learned to uh, exercise my vocal cords and my movement. And um, I come from a theater background years ago. Uh, years ago, I worked in the theater. And uh, I, I, then I went into healthcare, which was great. I did that for 12 years. But I created a music therapy program for patients with strokes and brain injuries. And uh, I uh, was doing that at the hospitals, and I'll be doing a little bit of that in this Palm Springs area at different assisted living facilities. So um, I went to Songshine, and it was fun because years ago I did a lot of theater. And uh, it was fun to work on my voice through singing. And uh, it's a much, it was a, it was a good way for me to get my voice back. And it's improved tremendously. I'm speaking better now. My articulation's better now. Um, Ruth Anna and Peter have been fantastic. Uh, I've learned so much from them. And I feel just stronger when I talk to people. And a friend of mine who I talk to in New York all the time, she said, your voice, I hear you sound like you used to sound. So when the Parkinson's was hitting me, um, my voice was changing and it was hard to understand me sometimes, but now people are not having trouble hearing me anymore. And I, I, I think that's from the class and from the performing we're doing. And so I was just kind of talking, I would think I was talking loud enough, but I wasn't talking loud enough. I kind of talk down here. Not all the time, but a lot of the time. So, um, but now I'm more consistently speaking up. And it's the vocal lessons on the, um, in articulation, and uh, I'm familiar with all of that because it takes me back to my old theater school days. So, um, so there's, I see a big improvement. A role I never thought I would ever play in my life. I never thought of myself as a Harold Hill, but I'm really enjoying it now. Um, it's um, a challenge. It's a challenge for somebody who doesn't have Parkinson's. So, because um, a lot of it's very, um, I'll give you an example. Um, um, and the next thing you know, your son is, for, the next thing you know, your son is, and the next thing you know, your son is playing for money in a pitchback suit and listening to some big out of town Jasper here and tell about horse race gambling. Not a wholesome trotting race, no, but a race where they sit down right on a horse. I'd like to see some suck up jockey boy sitting on damn patch. That was a little fast. I should do it a little slower. <laughs> a little fast. <laughs> But um, uh, the role means a lot to me. Uh, when I was in high school, we did the show, and my, one of my best friends in the world played Harold Hill. And unfortunately, uh, he passed away unexpectedly, healthy man at age 55 a few years ago. And uh, it was devastating to me. So this, is, uh, this performance is a dedication to Richard, dedicated to Richard. And uh, I, I feel like I've kind of, um, I said, Richard, help me with this. This is really hard. So I feel like he's been with me, helping me with this, because he was so great. I just love the show. I even got to meet Meredith Wilson once. Um, uh, the kids in our show, my good friends, really wanted to meet him. So we, uh, it was Christmas time, so we went to his house and sang Christmas carols. And he wasn't there, so the butler came out. And um, he uh, said, well, Mr. Wilson is out of town. So, he, uh, uh, so, but, so Meredith Wilson invited us back. And we're about, like about six of us went over there, and he gave us cake and ice cream, and he played music for us on his piano. He was so sweet. What a nice man. Oh, um, Songshine will help them with their voice. And even, you know, even moving. The, uh, the music just is a, is a great way to... Music's been proven to be therapy for anybody, whether they have a disease or not. Um, for anybody who has any anxiety, you know, music helps with all of that. So I think the music will help with movement and with the voice because uh, Parkinson's wants to take the voice away. So you want to fight against that. And I think if you practice it, and music's a fun way to do it, so then you'll, you'll improve more by doing singing, I think. Singing's the best thing for me.
And next thing you know, your son is playing for money in a pitchback suit and listen to some big out of town Jasper hearing him tell about horse race gambling. Not a wholesome trotting race, no, but a race where they sit down right on a horse. Like to see some suck up jockey boy sitting on damn patch. That was a little fast. I should do it a little slower. <laughs> a little fast. <laughs>